Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to Pera Philosoph City Skylines Let's Learn to Plays. I'm going to continue with my original city where I have so far made two parts, one the conventional uh, grid system and one a circular city. The circular city has yet to be upgraded fully. In the last patch the commercial has now started working properly and you have a demand. The parks are no longer destroying the demand for commercial. I have uh, had to get another landfill because this one was filled up and now I'm burning the trash in these two incinerators. Well, over here I have an additional incinerator and an additional landfill site which should hopefully not get filled up too much, uh, but if it does I will buy another one. I have changed the sewage dumps for the water treatment plants, so now I'm no longer polluting my water as much. The dam is producing 240 megawatts. I am pumping the water out through here, but I'm returning it through here, so the flow is constant. I have su uh, supplemented the power from the dam with the advanced wind turbines, and any more power that I need comes from the solar power plants. At some point I could unlock in another 13,000 population, I can unlock the nuclear power plant. But that's a whole other story which I'm not gonna go into right now. I just check over here 38%, 82%. So this one can be emptying in order to burn the trash for power. And when I mentioned power, 534 megawatts in use out of 584 available. So power is fine. Water, uh, I have just enough. But I believe I can get more. Okay, not through the budget. So that will have to be upgraded with buildings. But for now it looks okay. Let's see what do we have to deal with over here. I have some debt going on here. That should be picked up by the cemetery, which is over here. And not full at all, so no problems there. As for these two, they say low land value. Alright, let's bulldoze you and wait for somebody else to come here and increase this land value. Let me just take a look. Yeah, you see, it's uh, a much bluer, it's not green as it is over here, so the land value did drop. I believe that was because I had moved around some of the services, and they are no longer covering this area as they did before. Now, I do seem to have one, two, three, I believe I saw a fourth place with a dead person here waiting for, to be picked up. So I may actually need to get another graveyard in this area. I keep calling it a graveyard even though it's a cemetery. There we go. And one more crematorium as well. I do have one over here next to the cemetery. But I believe I should get another one. You can see here that I do have far more skyscrapers than I did before. These are level 5 residential buildings and even some commercial at level 5. See a uh, mega shopping center at level 3. It has reached its maximum level. As for the educational level of its workers, they need educated, well educated and highly educated. I think that should be covered because I do have elementary schools, a high school and a university. And I'm not entirely sure do I need to educate uh, totally everybody because the uh, industry also uses uneducated workers. But when you uh, look at here, they are at level 3 and it says high tech. And if you look over here, they're using highly educated workers and well-educated workers and educated, very few uneducated. So that does mean that I finally understand how do you upgrade industry. You actually have to have access to very educated workers for the industry to level up, but not only that, it has to be able to export its good, goods uh, very easily and also to be covered by services like the hospitals, the fire department and the police department. So you have to make sure that the industry has all of that before it can upgrade to level 3. You will notice that here I have a lot of these industries at level 3 and the rest are at level 2, 
when growing growing cl closely to level 3 while in my old part of the city I have very few at level 2 none at level 3 mostly at level 1 this is uh, it seems to be a problem because this area does have the educated workers but it does not seem to be covered properly by the uh, health fire and police services nor does the education uh, cover any of this now I'm not sure that education needs to cover it with the area of effect I believe it just has to send workers who are educated to the buildings themselves it could require further testing one thing that I am now definitely sure is that you do not need parks to upgrade industry that is now a hundred percent confirmed you do not need access to parks for the industry to level up to level 3 you can see if you hover for example if I find a level 2 industry and I hover here it says buildings need to be covered by more services to allow them to upgrade if you hover over a level 1 building uh, again need services because it's uh, going up to level 2 but if I find one that is absolutely at level 1 like this one still says more services oh right this is because they already have the over educated workers and so the first requirement where they say that they need educated workers is filled but they need to be covered by more services and now let's see if we can uh, test out the theory it is covered with the hospital but no cemetery coverage so let's place a cemetery over here okay no room let's place it in here fire department not good coverage so I will move the fire station over here then take a look over here and I will see that it's not covered anymore so we'll need to get another one up here much better coverage and when I look at the police stations I see that this area down here is not covered very well and that it needs better coverage and up here it seems to be well covered now I will leave this area uh, for a while it does need more workers and the trash seems to be piling up so that may need to be uh, taken care of as well uh, as for the more workers part I did zone some new residential areas and I should probably fill up some more as well up here I believe I had more yes here we go is it covered by the other services it seems so the garbage is actually having a problem to be picked up because I have oh wait a minute uh, capital city unlock the cargo harbor and the harbor excellent that's good for shipping out uh, the goods from the industry like I said I had centralized this here and now it's having a problem to get through to the entire city and get up here so what I will do is add another one of these over here and another incinerator up here so that should help out with the trash collection I have already increased that with my budget up to 125 percent but like I said it was the wrong thing to do to centralize it you do have to break it apart a little bit so that it has better coverage now if I look at these buildings I can take a look and see just what else do they need to upgrade they still talk about services well I'm pretty sure that I have them covered when it comes to health fire safety and police and even the now improved garbage and that care as well here I could even add another crematorium next to the graveyard uh, the cemetery I mean and as I said previously I have zoned more residential so that these areas would get more workers I'm not going to build any more commercial here because of the simple fact that I need workers for that as well and the industry already does not have the workers 
So it's better that I leave this area without any more commercial so that the workers can go and work in the industry. Check my power and water, it is still enough. Now I should leave this area alone for a bit and see if I get many more upgrades. But as far as I can see, there are a lot of upgrades going on already. And I can hear the jingle, which means that buildings are leveling. So there we go, uh, they are now turning dark brown from the previous uh, light brown, which means that I have managed to upgrade them. And so as you can see, there are a uh, requirement for every service for the industry to actually upgrade. The same thing was for over here, and you can see it's uh, even more dark brown down here now. Many more buildings have leveled up. Now I will as far as I have seen, I need more uh, education, so I will expand my elementary school coverage down here to the newer residential areas. As well as over here. On this area, uh, I need to connect some of these rings with more roads, because they are really big and have no connections. I do have the demand for residential, I will just check has uh, every previous zone that I have zoned been moved in yet. I could have more over here. There we go, that is all filled up. There is a demand for more commercial, but over here does the industry have all the workers they need? It would appear so. So it's safe to have more commercial as well. High density, of course. As for the industry, uh, the ones that are at level two seem to be going up and could reach level three very soon. So this entire area could become level three industry, which is excellent. As for over here, if I take a look, there is more industry now at level two and some of these at level 1 seem to be ready to go up. So that is pretty much how you level industry. First you have to make sure they of course have water and power, you have to make sure that they have educated workers, and you have to make sure that they are covered with all the services. You have to make sure that they have a place to export their goods, either through the rail system or the highways, and those are the requirements for the industry to actually level up. I seem to still be needing some workers in these areas. Well, the only way to get more workers would be to zone more. But I've already zoned enough here for them to show up. I just have to wait a little bit. And they should show up here soon enough. Now, I haven't used any public transportation yet. This is because I wanted to keep the number of variables to the lowest amount because it's hard enough to figure out what influences what. You might have seen that it took me about four episodes to figure out exactly how land value works and how our buildings upgraded. So I do try to keep the number of variables to the minimum before start I start ending them up. In this area of the city I do see a lot of traffic and I do see that some of these streets are having uh, problems in the intersections in uh, this part of the city, especially where I am exporting down to this cargo train terminal. So I was thinking about getting uh, some of the uh, public transportation in these areas. I could use the uh, bus stations for the residents to get to work more easily 
or I could use the metro but the metro does take up uh, quite a bit of space and I think I've saw, seen some people uh, complain that there's a problem with uh, metros and the metro lines that they've become invisible after this patch so I'm not gonna toy around with that uh, right now I may just try to uh, make some bus stops through these areas but I think I'll hold on on to that until I have actually finished up with uh, getting at least a full circle around this area and then I will put some uh, bus stations and bus stops let me just upgrade the rest of these roads I'm upgrading them to roads with trees because trees block some of the noise pollution from the traffic as you can see uh, there is more and more traffic piling up here and it's creating a problem so in order to try and fix that problem I am going to buy this piece of land here and then have another connection to this circular city through here now I will have another way for my traffic to get into here this one seems to have gotten disconnected there, fixed it now hopefully uh, some of the traffic will use this way to get in and out and stop using this way over here what uh, is the problem here? oh, it's the other way around okay right click, changes the orientation and you don't have to bulldoze the road I will need more streets like this to go and connect the outermost parts like so same thing over here again the industry says not enough buyers for products in which case I need to zone more commercial at least I think that is the answer to that problem if not, then I need to actually build that uh, cargo ship that I had unlocked, the cargo harbor, and find a way for them to export through here. Now this area over here does not have a crematorium or a cemetery connected to it, so I will need to place a new one. There isn't a clinic close by either, but there is a hospital over here. As for the fire stations, there is less coverage over here, so I should get one as well. As for the police, also very little coverage over here, so I should get one as well. I will definitely need more utilities as my industry seems to be leveling up here so let me get another pumping station here and another water treatment plant that should raise the capacity for the water and I will need more power and more power I will get from another solar power plant now I will have more than enough power and more than enough water the industry still says not enough bars for products So this area may require some more commercial as well, or a better way to export their goods to the trained system. 
now because I cannot squeeze in another train here that would be very impractical I could try and get a ship here but it seems it would be all the way here so that would mean that the traffic would have to travel through the residential zone so that would not be the best idea I will actually just reduce the amount of zones here that are industrial zones I will find buildings that are still at level 1 like these guys up here and simply dezone them and move their industry to another part of the city let's see the level of the industry see more buildings are at level 3 well over here more buildings are at level 2 I will have to bulldoze the industry that has not found anybody to sell their goods to and hope that once the commercial is up the industry will find a place to sell their goods to The traffic does seem to be a bit lighter here now with this one over here helping out there isn't as much traffic as it used to be here nor over here but uh, over here well I would say also a little bit less traffic the uh, easy way to uh, reduce the amount of traffic is to switch from generic industry to offices and I had used uh, generic industry here because I wanted to find a way to easily level it up uh, on a large scale to find out how that works but now that I know that I can keep uh, zoning for offices instead of the generic industry as they do not have the need to import raw goods nor to export their finished products the commercial has huge demand and I should also expand these areas this is the residential zone so is this one is for low density the other is for high density now I have been thinking about what do I do with the commercial and industry area because I haven't made a district out of it well I have been thinking to use some of the policies that are available for example in the city planning there is small business enthusiast which uh, this is for low density I need for high density so high density commercial buildings double their sales but you have to pay the upkeep while well, the industry has doubled the amount of goods produced now that's definitely not what I want to do but I would like them uh, for uh, but I would like for the commercial to be able to sell more I think if they can sell more then the industry will be able to uh, export more of their goods to my commercial so instead of building more commercial buildings I have ha I can have fewer commercial buildings who are going to be selling more goods that the industry is creating so I'm going to make a new district out of the area where I already have the commercial buildings that would be here now that this district here is covering all the commercial buildings and all the offices I'm going to just find the name of this area I'm going to call it Bullfrog it's one of uh, another studios that was closed down by EA and the policy is going to be a big business benefactor so that the high density commercial buildings double their sales and this should mean that they're going to be spending more goods that are de delivered 
from the uh, industry at least that is how i see this working i can also increase uh, the high density commercial taxes in this area by two percent because i expect them to be making a lot of money by doubling their sales so i'm going to increase the taxes in order to get my share of the profits so now i have the industrial district the commercial and office district the high density district and the low density dist district pandemic westwood bullfrog and industry central i can just finish expanding here these districts and that i believe would be enough for this video you can see how these guys have developed up to high level you can see some of the high level beginning to develop here although it will need some more work if i want everybody to get up to level two you can see that i am earning around 50,000 per week or more and you can check out my traffic without any public transportation yet I know that the circle has yet to be filled completely, but it's much more filled now than in my previous episodes. Mm, this place will need another landfill. For that I will need another road. There we go, a new landfill and a new incinerator. As I was saying, uh, this area needs to be filled up more and once it's at 100% capacity then I will think about how would public transportation benefit this area. So thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more.